All right, thank you for watching uh, my video. I do appreciate um, all the uh, the views. Sorry about my hand there. I just had to get something. There's a bug on my screen and it was bugging me. Anyways, uh, but uh, this is the uh, this is the house, and uh, hopefully next time I show you, I, I'll be uh, priming uh, the. Uh, the bedrooms here definitely gonna be priming this bedroom um, next time I'm out it's gonna be a few weeks like I said I'm going to uh, uh, Dryden um, and uh, this room here I still have to do one more coat like you said on the ceiling up there and uh, other than that I mean we're good to go so I want to get that done, get the doors hung, get the flooring in here, done. Check it off my list and and go on to the next project. Will be the big project getting this done. Um, I should uh, mention that uh, one of the big, big projects I want to get done. I guess the, one of the more important projects um, is the basement. Uh, I want to get uh, that basement floor done. And uh, I do apologize for, for going on and on, but I, I totally forgot to mention this. But uh, last year, um, I had that furnace hooked up. Um, and uh, uh, just bring it down here. So I had the, the furnace here hooked up. And I was running it to keep it, um, keep it warm in the winter it's about eight degrees celsius eight or nine um and uh it it, it cost about three hundred dollars three four hundred dollars uh, a month during the winter season and we are here in uh upper canada in the the middle in in manitoba right smack dab in the middle of canada and it gets cold here well the walls may be insulated and the ceiling might be in or the the roof and the roof and the attic it's all insulated the ceiling's insulated and everything but the cold it comes from down here and um let me tell you that thing was running just constantly um so i want to get this area done check it off what I'm going to do is, because I don't have my water lines and stuff in here yet, there is an outhouse over there. You're welcome to use it. There's some squeamish people that don't know what an outhouse is. or they just it, It's a country thing. Uh, when I was a kid, we used them. Uh, some people, they get finicky because they're too used to the city. But uh, I haven't run those lines yet. Uh, I still got to get that uh, the, the uh, holding tank and the... Uh, the the uh, septic tank for all the crap and stuff put in, and then the water tank put in, and then so what I'm gonna do um, is I'm going to uh, do this all up, insulate everything um, this fall, and then um, I'm gonna keep the, some of the boards so I can lift them up. I'm gonna keep. The insulation. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to spray foam that insulation in. But I'm going to from from basically this point here. Um, from this point here, all the way over there. That's going to be all insulated and in here, because there's no pipes going there. They're all going to be situated here, and they're going to run up here, and run in and tie into there, and then the washer dryer will be right here. Just, just below this window. This is going to be the utility room. I plan on building a bar in this corner here for guests. It's going to be the living room over here. And then over in this corner here. A, a corner or the middle will be a fire, wood burning fireplace. It's a, a, Not only is it for heat, but that wood burning fireplace is a secondary line of defense in case the power ever goes out and um and uh you have to stay warm 
Uh, I got plenty of wood out here. Uh, another thing is if uh, uh, for some reason um, I don't uh, um, I run out of water or again the power goes out to pump the water in um, I can go out get some snow boil the snow I can still cook I can still uh, you can still stay warm um, I'll pay the extra money for for the uh, for the insurance because the insurance does go up quite a bit for that but you know what it's peace of mind again peace of mind so mentioning that peace of mind thing but uh have you ever been in a situation where where you've had to survive in in the deep cold um i have um fire is your best friend so anyways thank you for watching and um it's uh, it looks like it's it's time for me to eat i got to, you can see that there but that smoky is done so i'm gonna eat that i'm gonna enjoy it and i'm gonna get on the road and head back to one of them